Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Yankee Candle review in this scent, Sugar and Spice. As you guys can see, this is a large one wick jar and as you cannot see, it does have a yellow label on the underside of the jar because I did purchase it at the outlet. One little tip I have for you guys, if you are going to be purchasing candles from the Yankee Candle outlet, make sure you look your candles over before you buy them. Sometimes the wick is a little off-centered. Sometimes the sticker has, you know, bubbles on it on the label on the front. Um, but this one was perfect. I didn't see any problems with it, but it's just something that you guys should maybe look for. So anyway, uh, let's get into the scent description. For Sugar and Spice, it reads, a mouth-watering swirl of cinnamon, buttery vanilla, and sugar crystals all baking together, guaranteed to fill your home with smiles. And the fragrance notes, um, the top notes are sugar crystals, the mid notes are clove, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and the base notes is uh, butter and vanilla. So, what did I think about this candle scent wise? I thought that it was a very warm, cozy, sugary scent, and it was also a very nice kitchen fragrance. I definitely picked up on the sugar crystals first with kind of like a dusting of cinnamon. I did also pick up on, you know, the clove and the nutmeg, but uh, more so the cinnamon. It was more like a cinnamon type of sugar donut without the super, super sweet uh, fragrance kind of added in there. It was just like your basic sugar. But anyway, um, yeah, I just thought that this candle was great for the holidays. It was a very nice addition if you are baking cookies for the holidays, you know, to have this candle kind of burning in the background would be awesome. The throw on this was great. It was not a smack in your face kind of strong scent, but it filled the room, you know, with the fragrance and I rated the candle a seven for a scent throw. And the performance on this was pretty perfect. I only had one problem and it was a slight problem. I had a tiny little bit of tunneling towards the last like fourth of the candle. It was something I guess I just, you know, made note of, but um, I did stick a sweater on the candle and it did correct itself. A lot of times, if you just kind of let it burn, it will correct itself. Um, a lot of people have tunneling issues and it's kind of funny because they, they send me pictures and I see this candle and you can tell that they only lit the candle for possibly like an hour and a half and then they blew it out and they're like, oh my God, my candle is tunneling. With Yankee candles, you need to let them burn a long, long time. Like this candle, I probably was burning a good, I would say, eight to nine hours with a lid on for the very first burn uh, just to get that nice even wax pool that you guys see there. So um, definitely know that you are going to have tunneling issues with the Yankee Candle if you do not let it burn for a long time. But with the performance, other than that, everything was great. I had a nice burn, no soot, very clean. I did trim the wick uh, before I lit the candle each time except for the very first time. And I had no complications. So that was my review on Sugar and Spice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this review a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more candle reviews in the future. And comment down below if this is a candle you think you would enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And happy day.